Hello. Oh, excuse me, that's too far. Hello. Uh, it's been a little bit, a uh, few minutes, I would say. Sorry about that, a little bit of uh, unintentional interruption. I had finals, and then I had to move into my new apartment, which is this place. So it's nice that I moved in here now, but that meant I really couldn't uh, use my pens, create anything for like the last month, which is kind of sad. But I'm here now, I just started my new job, and now I'm ready to, you know, start creating some cool stuff for uh, this summer. Uh, I would have done some more stuff right now, but instead I'm doing this because it is really hot in Seattle right now. It's supposed to set the all-time record for heat in Seattle on Sunday and then break it by like five or six degrees on Monday. So that's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, I was just going to create like a normal sort of like review type thing, but I'm going to be spending the weekend in my university's library because they have air conditioning and I don't have air conditioning here. Uh, but that means i got to clean all my pens out because I'm not going to be here to do it. So <laughs> I left all my pens sitting around for like a month and they're all dry and crusty now. So i got to, you know, clean them all out very thoroughly. And I have a, I have a big old sink, thankfully, and i got a drying rack so I can have the whole cleaning setup, hopefully teach you a few tips and just you know, clean my whole collection, because now I have it all in one place now. And yeah, let's give it a go and see how long it takes us and clean some pens. So let's get to it. <laughs> uh, sorry if the audio quality of this one really takes a dive, but I'm not at my desk, so I don't have my microphone. But order of business number one is I got to figure out which pens I need to clean, because some of them uh, I have not inked in a while and I cleaned them previously so they're good to go and then some of them I've left inked for like six months so uh, yeah we'll see I guess this video is also like a collection update just because I have to go through every pen in my collection uh, so yeah we'll get to experience that uh, I'll go get my pens <laughs> all right here we got a 36 pen case the monoverted pen case Put that down. Two Misui two pen cases, one large, one regular size. Three knock cases, I forget their names. This one is supposed to hold six. These are three each. Then we have a rickshaw koozie case, a case that I got off of Reddit, off of PenSwap, and then two Schaefer boxes that I haven't really found a place to put the pens. So yeah, there we go. So this is what it all looks like. I'll see how I can figure out to mount my uh, phone so you can see me cleaning, but let's uh, unbox or I guess take them out of the cases, whatever you call it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a lot of pens. Uh, I could go through all of them, but that would take a long time. I'm gonna sort through them right now and see what's inked and what's not. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just kind of took them all out of their cases, but like, this is the Chinese pens. I got the vintage over here and then like some Conklin Monteverde, uh, Aurora's, Lamy's, Omas, 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 excuse me. That's Leonardo. Uh, but yeah, let's sort through all these. All right, here we go. Here's what needs to be cleaned. It's probably about half of it. So, you know, not too bad. <laughs> um, most of them are not inked. They just got some little uh, leftover crusty bits in them for being left inked and then drying out. But we gotta clean them out because that's good practice, you know? So I guess let's get to it. All right, so steps for cleaning. Well, you gotta have a bulb syringe. Highly recommended, probably the best thing that you could Oh, hello, Siren. Probably the best thing that you could get for pen cleaning. You want to have a cup. That's 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 ink, by the way. Don't worry. <laughs> you want to have a cup and some pen flush and an al almost empty roll. And a brand new roll of paper towels. Okay, so here is where the cleaning time lapse starts. I was going to try and take a time lapse of the entire thing, but then my phone ran out of battery. 
so that's fun. So there's only the time lapse of the first little bit of cleaning pens. But as you can see, this was like the first half that I cleaned. Uh, and they were, yeah, it was, it was a lot of pens. A lot of pens. Um, but yeah, you know, just clean it away as you do. All right, update about three quarters through. The time lapse just kind of stopped. You can see just how much ink is in these pens. It's crazy. Like they were running clean, but just because there's so much clogged up ink, you know, kind of all over the place. Only have a few pens left, you know. And then I put the. Uh, this is half of them. I put. I cleaned one half and then put them away. And this is the second half. So we're almost there. And I guess I'll see you when it's all done. Well. There we finally are. Uh, that took two hours, a little bit more than two hours actually. Uh, now there's a lot of a lot of colors everywhere. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, normally I like cleaning out pens, but uh, this one took forever and it was pretty agonizing. I also put on a hat because my hair was going crazy. But yeah. Um, that took forever. The lesson of this video is don't leave your pens inked for like a year because you'll pay for it later. Um, but yeah, at least now I've got them all cleaned out. I'm gonna put them all back where they belong and then we will wrap this up. So yeah, um, that took a really long time. A couple of things that I learned, first of all, like using pen flush is always helpful. Uh, you probably saw it there. And it's it just, it's like ammonia and dish soap and water and something like that. You can make it yourself. There are recipes online. That really helps for cleaning out really gunked up ink that's in there. And then one method that I kind of used for the first time that really helped, if you have an ink syringe, uh, you can put it inside a cartridge converter and then get that gunked up ink, uh, that, like flush it out of there directly which uh was super helpful because there was it was just not coming out just like cleaning it normally so that really helped and then what else was there I, it was just all the different filling systems all sort of have different ways to go about things you know uh, but cartridge covers are definitely the easiest to clean so if you don't like cleaning that's definitely the filling mechanism for you <laughs> um but yeah this took forever but it's definitely worth it i i didn't clean out all the pens all the way perfectly I just kind of did it to an acceptable level where there wasn't a bunch of dried ink because like there were like the two Conklin Durographs that I had filled up with some sort of blue black ink that I left for like six months were just they had like more ink like you can see it got all over my hands they, they just had so much and it just was a constant flow of ink and I had I had I couldn't get, like, I, I took the feed and the nib out, I pulled it out, washed it thoroughly, put it back in, flushed it again, and it was still, the water through it was, like, dark blue. It just, it was crazy, and it took forever, but finally got it, everything mostly cleaned out. So now I can, you know, kind of start from square one, and go through all the stuff. I also got like a look at all the pens and seeing which ones I wanted to review. Hopefully I'll review the Jinha 100 soon because I think that's a really good pen uh, for what it's worth. And then I'll probably review some pens that I've had for a while and we'll see kind of what I'm feeling. Hopefully I'll make some other videos soon, not just reviews, some more varied types of content. But yeah, I think just making this video to kind of show you my cleaning process. Couldn't show it too in depth, unfortunately, because the time lapse stopped working at the start. But uh, at least I got to show you all my pens. Now they're all in one place, and all my inks are in one place. I can show you that. So my ink setup is basically divided. I have some ink in here that won't fit, but I got this cabinet from IKEA that's like on wheels and uh, fits most ink pretty well. Uh, some of the inks back there are kind of difficult to reach, but I kind of tried to organize it in a somewhat reasonable way. But this kind of just showed me how much ink I have. So I have three full drawers there, and I also have this drawer down here. <laughs> that is a lot, and definitely more than I need, but you know. It's, it's kind of hard to sell ink that you don't want. And then I just put the Ackerman in bottles over here. Sorry it's super dark. Again, I'm trying to keep my room super cool because it's 95 degrees out. Uh, but yeah, 
So that's my sort of ink setup that I have. And hopefully I will be able to go through more of it soon so it won't be taking up so much space. But yeah, that's the current setup I have. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and thanks for sticking with me even after this little short absence. But that's it for me. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe because you know there will be more stuff coming in the future. And yeah, have a good day. Bye.